Good morning, YouTube. Sorry my video was frozen at the beginning as usual. <laughs> I'm kind of a little shaken up and spooked out because I had a house centipede on my collarbone this morning. I felt something like crawling on me and when I brushed it off I saw that it was yellow and it had a lot of legs and I wasn't really quite sure what it was. At first I thought it was like the end of um, like a frayed end of my blanket, my army blanket. But then I was like, no, I think I need to look a little harder. And when I saw what it was, I like hopped out of my bed with my laptop and <laughs> called my roommate to come kill it for me. <laughs> but yeah, so it was on my collarbone, which is why I keep going like this. And I'm not sure if it bit me. I think I'm just like still in shock of the fact that I had a house centipede on me. And it's, it was a bug I had never seen before. I've seen like normal centipedes like in Hawaii. That are much larger, much, much larger than this one, but still, it it looks scary because the legs on it are so long, and I'm pretty sure it was a male, I did my research, I'm pretty sure it was a male house centipede because the antennas were also very long, so it just looked really creepy and really scary, and I can't believe I just had one of those on my body, like, less than 15 minutes ago. So, this video... Um, it's not only about my traumatic house centipede experience, but it is a gonna be a, I guess, makeup tutorial slash get ready with me. Because today is gonna be my first day at Sephora, so I'm going to get ready and then I'm gonna go to um, Waffle House, get some hash browns, some eggs, some bacon, and some coffee, and then I'm gonna head to Sephora. And uh, yeah, I feel like I need that after my attack, but let's get started. So, I already cleansed my face and I primed it with Neosporin because I have been experiencing more breakouts than normal and I think it's all really just stress related even though I haven't really been stressed because I'm pretty I've gotten pretty good at managing my busy schedule and I'm happy about everything that I'm doing but I think my body is still under stress and it's probably the way that I've been eating as well because you know being a college student I'm always eating fast food and I don't eat very well so and I have a, a Dr. Pepper addiction, so that probably isn't helping my skin, but I just put Neosporin on all over my face as my primer, and it's almost like a silicone primer because it really does make the surface of your face nice and smooth. And the foundation I'm going to wear today is one that I have only worn during the summer, and I stopped wearing it because I thought it was a little bit too light, and this is the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation, and I just gave my bottle to my sister. If you've seen some of my older videos, you know that I did a review on this, on this foundation. And it's actually one of my most viewed videos is the review that I did on this foundation. Oh gosh, people are starting to comment on the picture. I posted a picture of what it was and, well, oh, it just, oh. It was just, oh, it just looks nasty. I meant to show you guys too. It's on my Facebook. So yeah, I'm going to use that foundation. I'm going to use some of the powders that I've posted in my... <laughs> that I've posted in my haul. That's what they look like, just in case you're wondering. House centipedes. Yeah, that was what was on me. But, um... I stopped wearing it because I thought it was a little bit too light, even though everyone on YouTube and people just in general were saying that it looked good, like the color. I still thought it was a little too light for my skin. So I just gave it to my sister who loves it. So I just applied an extra amount on my cheek. Yeah, way too much. I'm going to use my beauty blender. I'm squeezing some more water out of it. It's pretty damp. And I'm just 
pouncing this into the skin. I remember liking the finish. I know I like the coverage of it, but I still think it is a little bit on the light side, but I can fix that. But it can be adjusted. Let me get this excess water on my hands off. Yeah, like I said, my sister loves this foundation, and I think it would be better for people that have, like, combination dry skin, which my sister does have. Um, she has pretty normal skin. She doesn't really get oily at all. I don't even think she sets her makeup with powder. And it always looks so nice and so good. When I do her makeup, I always set her with some powder. But that's just like half my face done just so you can see the difference. And you see how fast it blends out? I love that because it's really quick. And the coverage is quite nice as well. And I feel like it matches the center of my face pretty good, but it doesn't match my neck and my body as nicely. But yeah, it looks really, really, really good on the skin. I forgot how good it looks on the skin. I really like it. Let's do this side. I can't even tell you how many pumps I did. I probably used like five on this side and I just did three on this side I think something extra but I know that four can do my whole face from when I did my reviews this summer on a foundation and Jackie's texting me she's in Columbia watching her husband coach a soccer game since he's a pro soccer player when he's not playing he's coaching or training you see how easy and fast that this foundation blends out Yeah, I mean, some of my perfections are still showing through, but it is a pretty good, strong, medium coverage. And I don't want to build it either, because I'm going to apply powder, which will add additional coverage. But yeah, it does really give you a nice, even flawless finish and it looks like skin I think that's the one thing I really liked about this is that it looks like it's just like skin so now let's move on to powder and the powders I'm going to use are my pro matte infallible I got some new ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and bust these open. And I have 800 Cocoa and 700 Classic Tan. And I'll use this one on the inside of my face, this one on the outside. And I'm going to start with the outside, if I can get it open. Jackie wants to come visit me at work at Sephora, so she's asking for my schedule, which I'll give to her later since I'm recording. All right, I think I got this open. There we go. So this is Coco, and I'm going to... Take this Coastal Sense flat top brush and you see that adds the depth back to my skin, the chocolatiness. And I'm going to use this to set
basically my whole face except for under my eyes. Let me look in the mirror. Oh yeah, that color is really good. So we're gonna set basically my whole face with this because it helps to, oh, that looks good. To deepen up the color of the foundation so it better matches my neck and body. As you can see, I'm pressing it in. Y'all know how I do to add more coverage. I like to press it. I'm making sure to get under the jaw as well. So I was going to do purple eyes and a matte purple lip for my first day at Sephora. But then I decided since I'm about to go eat some good food at Waffle House. I'm just gonna do a nice, pretty, deep blue smoky eye. The one that I told you guys was really pretty but I never recorded because it was for band. I think I'm just gonna do blue smoky eyes and nude lips. So just like lip gloss so that it's um, so I don't have to touch up my lips because I want to be, you know, I don't want to be touching up the stuff. It's also very rainy. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain. But it's very, very rainy, which is why our parade, our Veterans Day parade that the band I worked for was supposed to participate in got canceled. And the band competition that we were supposed to do today also was canceled. It's been raining like crazy here in South Carolina. Just so much rain. And I'm also going around the perimeter of the forehead. You can see there's a clear color difference between the powder and the foundation, which is cool because, you know, I'm gonna blend it all together. But it looks really silly right now. Really making sure that I get all that that sucks with my face. So that's how I'm looking right now. I'll probably be coming back to Coco, but now I'm gonna go over to Classic Tan using the same brush. Let me cut this one up. Which is obviously lighter. And now I'm going to use the same brush, like I said, and use this to set the other parts of my face that I want to be highlighted still. And in the end, I'll take some cocoa and blend it all together. I haven't been to Waffle House in a while. You guys know that for my 22nd birthday, I got food poisoning from Waffle House. So it's been a while since I've actually been. But I'm excited to uh, return today. Because I really do love Waffle House. Alright, no, 
I'm kind of just buffing out the edges before I add more cocoa just to kind of blend it together without adding additional powder. And I love the way that this powder looks on the skin because it doesn't look cakey at all. Your skin actually still looks like skin. And I really like that about these pearl matte powders. And they also have the 16 hour wear, which is why I put this on because I don't want to have to touch it while I'm at work. I don't like doing touch ups. That's one thing I do not like when it comes to makeup is touching up. All right. I feel like these two are actually pretty well blended together. I'm just going to go in and contour my nose. I'm going to use this brush, although there's nothing on it. No, there's nothing on it. It's clean. And I'm going to take cocoa and do that. But by using these two darkest powders together, it really gives like a natural, a much more natural looking finish to the foundation when it comes to like highlighting and contouring, things like of that nature. Because it's not extreme, which I prefer a more natural looking highlight and contour, which I think most everyday women do. I feel like a lot of women feel pressured to do the extreme with all the concealer and stuff like that. But I feel like my way is much more simple and it works just fine and you still get a similar effect. I'm blending it out. I'm going to go over it with my brush as well. Do 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 do. Yeah, this has a really beautiful finish with this foundation. Excellent matching combination. I haven't tried this combination before. Now I need to work on these brows, which I feel like my brows are like growing. Like I actually have hair. Not a lot of hair, but I feel like they are like getting thicker and growing since I've been using castor oil as my moisturizer for the past couple months. But that is the finished foundation. I don't know if I'm going to highlight or add blush or anything like that. Just quite yet. But I am going to move on to the brows now. And my computer's probably going to die. That's okay. If you noticed, I've been drinking water. I feel really dehydrated today. That's probably because I didn't drink anything at the football game last night. And all I drank yesterday was tea. All right, brows. Mm 
Oh, my mom texted me. She's probably texting me about the picture of that bug. No, she's texting me about my brick on Skylar's wall. Oh gosh, Nazika commented on my photo. <laughs> I'm telling you, that bug was quite scary, guys. Like, anyone who knows me knows that I hate bugs. And if I didn't have Emily here, I don't know how that thing would have gotten down the toilet. We flushed it down the toilet to ensure that, you know, it wouldn't resurrect itself or anything like that. Come back to life and traumatize me again. I'm just glad it happened today on a Saturday versus like a day when I had to teach or something because I would have been thrown off. You guys know for my brows, I just use a black and brown eyeliner pencil. And I just take my time. They're not quite on fleek yet, but I will, we will get there. Or maybe not. I don't have any eyebrow issues today. Okay. Let's see what I can do. All right, so there goes the brows for today. My brows have been coming out a lot stronger than I want them to, but that's okay. I'm not mad at these brows. Like usually mine are a little bit thinner than this. Well, my natural brows are a little bit thinner than this, but as of late I've been, whenever I do them, they just come out a little thicker, which is okay. I'm just taking my brush that I used to apply my powder with and just going over. And 
the skin to absorb any oil that may have come off. Yeah, people are commenting on this post about this um, house centipede. All right. On to the eyes, which are super simple, super easy. I used one palette, which, <laughs> guess which palette? My Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. And the featured shadow is this color right here. Azure. 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 I think it's Azure. Um, what's that song? Fair, beautiful, for space. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, fair, amber waves of green. I'm pretty sure it has the word Azure in it because Azure is a shade of blue. I'm pretty certain. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, that's what's going to be going all over the lid. <laughs> And I'm going to use a elf eyeshadow C brush to oh my gosh somebody else said they had them oh my gosh somebody else had them in the showers oh my goodness it's not just me They've been plaguing other people that live on my campus. Now that makes me even more terrified. <sighs> oh my gosh, these are other people that live in Courtyard. That is pretty terrifying. Okay, moving on. Okay, Azure Blue. That's going all over the lid, which is this beautiful blue right here. As you guys know, at Sephora we wear all black, which is kind of perfect because that means that I can do whatever kind of color scheme I want for my makeup. And I am mostly patting and doing really short sweeps with this shadow. And we want it all over the eyelid, the mobile lid. From inner to outer corner. And I'm stopping right at the crease. But this blue is so pretty. Like it just makes me happy. So that's how it looks so far. Looking very 1980s. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Azure, A-Z-U-R-E, the name of the shadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you don't have this palette, you guys, I hope you guys know that you can just order individual shadows or you can use any other sort of blue or any other foundation or any other powders that work for you. Like, you don't have to use exactly what I'm using. I feel like that's the beauty of makeup. You can use whatever you want to create a look that you've seen. It doesn't have to be the same exact products, and it can come out looking quite similar. And that's pretty much what I do when I get inspired by other YouTubers or celebrities or whoever. I use my own products that I already have because it doesn't have to be the exact same to get the same look or the same general effect. All right. Now I'm kind of blending out the edges up into the crease a little more. So that's what I have so far. You notice a little bit got down here, but that's okay. I am probably going to add a little bit of blue to the 
bottom lash line but next I need to go in with the color fudge from this palette which is right next to the blue and that's what I'm going to use to blend out the crease I didn't want to use black because I feel like that's a little too dark I, don't, I just don't want to use black so I'm going to use fudge and I'm using the brush that comes in the palette the fluffy side And I'm actually overlapping the width. I'm overlapping onto the blue to blend this out. And when you mix the blue and the brown, it almost makes like a purplish looking color, which is really pretty. But I'm literally just blending this into the crease and onto the outer V, which is naturally going to have a darkened look to it. So that's how that looks. So yeah, I don't know why when these two mix together they look purple, but I'm digging it. I'll take it. Does not bother me. As long as the lids are blue, that's all that matters. <laughs> and I'm making sure to blend that brown all the way to the inner corner like so so that's how the eye should look next what I'm going to do is take the other side of this and I'm going to take that azure color azure on the tip of this brush and we're going to apply that to the lower lash line in the inner corner. Using the other side of the brush from the palette. And I'm going to take it about two thirds, leaving the outer like one third of the lash line uncovered. If you go all the way, that's fine too. We're just going to add some fudge on top of it. And I'm just going to wipe off a little bit of this blue and go into fudge, the deep brow right here, and apply that to the outer part, blending it into the blue and connecting it to the upper lash line. And yeah, when these two colors mix together, they look purple, which is interesting to me. It looks like I have a purple and blue smoky eye. But really I'm using fudge, which is a deep brown. And that's how the eyes should be looking. Now what I'm going to do is wipe off the fluffy side of this brush. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of Morocco to blend into the crease. 
just to give it a little bit more warmth and add a little bit of like an orangey kind of hint to it. And both Fudge and Morocco are matte shadows. They're matte, which I love. Well, you guys know how much I love Morocco to the T. But I'm literally just focusing that right above the fudge. Like so. To highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use Soft Peach from this palette because I want my brow bone to be matte. I want the focus to really be on the eyes, so I'm not going to use any shimmer except for that azure color which is on the lid, which I'm probably going to go and add a little bit more of. Just that is really the star of the show. I'm going to use the brush. I think this is the brush I used to contour my nose. I'm going to add some soft peach to it. Like I said, use that to highlight the brow bone. Like so, it's a soft, subtle difference. I'm trying to debate, do I want to add eyeliner or no? I kind of don't want to add eyeliner because then I'll cover up some of the blue. So let's go back to the brows and the face. I'm just going to brush over my face again to get rid of any oils that have may have started to come out. I'm kind of thinking I need a wing though with this because it's so close. I love it. And I'm also going to set my brows using some Miss Mango, voluminous and waterproof because it's rainy and we never know what may happen. But whatever happens, my brows will still be there. I'm not sure what combination of all black I'm going to wear, but that makes my um, outfit choice simple and easy. Some of my eyebrow hairs are wanting to not cooperate. I think I'm good. All right, let's do some wing nine. And on the lips, I already know what I'm gonna wear. My NYX Butter Gloss in Terra Masu. Ooh, my lips are so dry. 
like real dry. Yeah, I don't really want to do a lipstick. I think this is good enough. Something real soft and subtle. Just so you can see the intensity of the color. Back away, when I back away, it shows more of the true color of everything. Because I'm not so close to the light being washed out. Oh yeah, let's do some wing liner and lashes and I think that will prevent me from having to put on blush or add anything more to the face. So I really want it to be all about the eyes. And I'm using my e.l.f. $1 liquid liner. I'm trying to stay, sorry about my nose as close to the lash line as possible. Until I get to the very end. I'm making a pretty long skinny wing liner. It kind of follows my natural eye shape, which I like. So it's not too much. No, do not tear up. Okay, there we go. Of course, I would mess up this uh, having issues with the wing on this eye. I think it's coming together though. Barely. Okay. I fixed it. And now I just need to make this side match.
All right. Now, time for mascara. This is a long video. And my computer is about to die. But I'm basically done. Now I'm just going in with my CoverGirl, the Super Sizing Mascara, which is my favorite drugstore mascara at the moment. I think I may add some purple blush, y'all. Just a splash. Which y'all can hardly even see my eyelashes. Because of how dark the blue is mixed with the brown, which looks like purple. But that's why I say my ads in purple blush. Oh yeah, my computer's getting mad at me. So I'm going to have to end this video because I don't want to lose this footage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Of course I'll be posting pictures so you can see the final look for my first day of work at Sephora. Please pray that I do not get attacked by any more bugs of any kind. Again, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the look so far. Bye YouTube.